Hi, everyone. Um, we're going to switch it up this morning and uh, we're going to do something fun. Um, we're actually going to have Dina interview me. <laughs> yes. And I'd like to introduce Mrs. Barbie Hamilton, whose handle is B Lynn on Facebook. Why is that, Barbie? Uh, it was a nickname that I acquired uh, over the years. And so rather than have my real name on there, I just, I put B Lynn because my middle name is Lynn. So people ah. called me B and anyway. <laughs> it's cute. I like calling you B. It really suits you. Hey, cool. So tell us a little bit about yourself, B. <laughs> B. <laughs> um, well, I, uh, I grew up in a small town in Ontario, Canada called King Carden. Um, and I moved to London, Ontario, which I'm still currently residing. Um, I took photography for three years at Vanja College and branched out into some graphic design work. And I, I did that on the side and also as a little bit of a, a business for, I don't know, about 10 years or so. Um, worked for a company doing graphic design. And um, I decided to go back to school and did a total change in my career. I wanted to do something medical and um, I ended up going into nursing. So I went back to school. Um, That's amazing. Yeah, like four years, you know, university and um, put myself through school. And um, I've been a nurse for about 14 years now. I'm currently in critical care, trauma, ICU, um, which I love. It's, uh, I work full time. Um, it's a lot of, I wouldn't say it's fun, but I enjoy the job. I look, I love looking after people and, um, it's very rewarding that way. And, um, I don't know, it's just something that I, I really enjoy. And even with all the pandemic stuff, I, you know, I, I still enjoy nursing even after. I have to say nursing is a calling. It's not an uh, occupation that you choose because you want to make money or, you know, it is definitely a calling and it says a lot about who you are. Um, B, what, what else do you do? I know that you have an artistic side to you. Yeah. So from the time I was, from the time I could hold a pencil in my hand, I've been painting, drawing, sculpting, um, you name it. I, I've tried to do various mediums and stuff like that. Um, so I've been a hobby artist from the time I was young. I still do it. I still paint. Um, I actually have, uh, I took a course in 2012 by a local artist here. She's an international doll artist and it's not dolls as in the, the sense of you think like a doll, like a little girl plays with. It's more like Tim Burton kind of style, kind of macabre, oh, wow. you know, um, very artistic and, um, very interesting, uh, and so I took a course there and it actually is one of the mediums that I enjoy doing. So I've been doing polymer clay fine art dolls since 2012 and an, a gallery in New York actually picked me up um, back last summer and wow. uh, currently representing me. Yeah, it's called the Uncanny, Uncanny Art Gallery in Kingston, New York. So it's just a couple hours outside of New York City. My goal was New York City. <laughs> yes. My goal is to make it as an artist in New York City. But, um, I, you know, I'm only a couple hours away, so I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> People from New York are amazing. Like, and they're so friendly. I'm sure you would fit in just fine. Oh, I love it there. It's beautiful. Yeah. I went at Christmas time one year, and I just absolutely loved it. Um, yes. So I do that. Um, I've locally, um, I've just joined a couple of artist groups in the city. One is called Simple Reflections, and it uh, creates opportunities for artists, musicians, dancers, and stuff in the within the city. And um, there's also the London Arts Council, which I've just joined as well. My goal for myself this year is to get myself out of my comfort zone and get myself out there more networking with other artists musicians actors that's amazing dancers you name it because I'm shy believe it or not I'm very shy one -on most artists are <laughs> they're like they have this introvert sign side to them so am I but I mean that's that's just probably your comfort zone yes yeah private zone right yeah. 
But you're also writing. Yes. So over the pandemic, um, I, I guess probably two years ago, I start. I got this idea for a book in my head, um, and I just started writing. I actually saw it in my head like a movie, and um, I wrote two books. I just like pumped them out. Obviously, not super quickly. Two years, two books. Um, two and years, I just, two books. Yeah, it takes people a lot longer to write a book sometimes. That's amazing, and you have no experience doing this. I have. Is this not. something that just naturally happened? Um, so I've been writing since I was young as well. I uh, used to write oh. plays and put I've I've got like lots of poetry and songs that I've written. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, yeah. And so uh so it just I've always done short stories and I've just never taken it to the level where I finished it, completed it and wanted to publish it. Okay. So um I just published this book. You probably can't really see it very well actually, not at all. Love. But um it's called In the Name of Love and Light. And okay. it's my book that's currently out on Amazon. And uh, what inspired you to write this book? You know what? Uh, I've been looking for an idea for a long time to bring to completion to actually have something that I find would actually be interesting to read. And um, oh. when I was taking a walk with my daughter, there's like a local graveyard that have deer in it. And they're very they're not shy. Like they'll, they'll come up and they'll eat out of your hand. I know you're not supposed to do that, but we do. And um, I just, just as we were leaving, I was just looking around at the setting of the, the graveyard and I just got the idea for, for the book and like the whole story in my head. Wow. That's, yeah. that's amazing. Never happened before. And so from there um, I published it in December and, and then I, I thought, I see it in my head as a, as a movie so okay. why not adapt it to a screenplay, which I've never written. <laughs> I've never written a screenplay in my life. But um, I just, I looked online, did watched a few YouTube videos, and I, I wrote as best as I could um, without taking any formal courses, which I probably should do if I'm going to look at yeah. doing that for my future. Um, and so I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to put it out there and see what happens. And um, like, I'm just going to go full tilt this year on everything. So, um, so I did that. And I've submitted it to a couple people, I've submitted it to a couple of um, contests. And I just recently got an honorable mention in the wiki world's fastest screenplay contest, which I saw that on Facebook. Congratulations on that win. Thank you. For a mention, right? Honorable what mention. What was it? Sorry? Oh, I was just going to say it was, it's an honorable mention, which I feel is an, an honorable mention. Yeah. Considering That's I've amazing. done that before. So, well, for someone who has no experience in this field, and this is your first time writing a screenplay, that is absolutely amazing work. Thank you. So, you know where to go now. You know what to do. You have to take the steps. Yes, I need to do some more. I need to take some courses, I think, and just, you know, better that script and work on it a little bit more. And then actually, my, my plan is to uh, do a short like we were talking about, and, and make that come to fruition. And then hopefully, um, putting it out there that I, I really hope to see it on the big screen someday, because I see it in my head. And I hope someday that I can get it out there as a feature film. So We'll see. Oh, wow. Yeah, we'll definitely have to get forward, uh, move forward with that idea. Yeah. Um, you never know what could come, what could fall into your lap. Yeah. Is there anybody who inspires you? Like, especially with your artwork or your writing? I know that this idea for your writing, as you explained, came to you out of nowhere. But there must be some inspirations that you've picked up on after you got this idea. So, um, so artistically, there's a couple of, um, there's a couple artists that inspire me. There's a, a doll artist in California who I'm friends with. Her name is Sherry DeBeau. She's an internationally well-known artist in the doll, art doll world. And she's a very talented painter as well. Um, she inspires me. And That's uh, wonderful. yeah, and uh, in the film world, I actually am very inspired by Sara DiPaggio. Oh, Yes. <laughs> very, very nice. Yeah. Yes. I, I look at him and I look at what he's accomplished in the last 
just the last couple of years and I'm just amazed. And I think if someone like he, he's so talented and um, I just think, you know, he aimed for the stars and he achieved it. So yes. um, I'm going to do the same. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and what do you plan on doing in the future? Uh, as far as the future, um, well, my plan is to actually be an artist in New York, as I told you. Um, my, I have my second book coming out, which is the sequel to the first book. Uh, it's already written. It's in the editing stages. Um, it's coming out probably, probably realistically early summer. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm just going to keep working on uh working towards uh, fixing up my screenplay and hopefully getting it in the right hands. Right. And, yeah. and you can also aim for a mini series who knows That's true. as the story can progress yes. as it, as it gets better. That's wonderful. Absolutely. Well, that's uh, from a, a country home, t- like small town girl who's a nurse has all these artistic abilities and are using them like you're going to live your dream. And that's, that's something I think that we all need to, to do and not be scared to try. Yeah. And the other thing I wanted to say, um, the other main person in my life that inspires me is my daughter. Um, and she is actually my motivating factor for all of this. Um, just to better, just to show her that you can, you can chase after your dreams, live your dreams no matter if they seem to others like they're ridiculous and impossible, um, just showing her that you can do it and just do it no matter what anybody else says. Um, How old is your daughter? She's nine. She's nine. Oh, wow. Just being the example and the role, mo- role model for that. And I hope that she can see that her mom works real hard for her <laughs> and, um, you know, is trying her best to kind of, be successful in my own goals. And, uh, you know, with that comes, you know, hopefully success for both of us. So we're actually going to be working together on a children's book, which I hope to be working on this summer. We've been talking about it for a couple of years now. So, and my writing is, um, my next writing, I have a series in my head for young adults. It's going to be a five book series. So that's also coming. So I just don't know. I'm going to have the time to do all of it. So that's it. Well, inspiring your own daughter. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. She's my miracle baby. I was told back in my 20s um, that I wasn't able to have children probably from some medical issues that I was having. And um, I was miraculously, I lost my first one, but the, she came along and she was perfect. And despite them saying that I would probably be infertile, I was able to have her naturally and with no issues. And so I look at her as my miracle and I look at her as my blessings. So I just live my life, um, not for her, but I live my life because she inspires me. That's amazing. What a beautiful story. I can't wait to see what you do this year and the coming years. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. And it was wonderful interviewing you. Yes. And um, I can't wait to see the outcome. And I can't wait to read your book. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I can send you a copy. Just let me know. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Thanks. So everyone, this is B. Lynn, her handle, uh, Barbie Hamilton, as we know her in her legal name, but uh, <laughs> upcoming artist, upcoming uh, book writer, upcoming screenwriter and nurse. Yes. Thanks so much. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Take care. Take care. Bye.